Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Kingdom Faith Outdoors channel. My name is Miguel Fuentes. I am the minister and wildlife expert, uh, Miguel Fuentes. And today, we're going to get into a teaching on the titles of the Holy Spirit. So, we're going to be taking a look at the third person of the Godhead today, the Holy, the Holy Spirit. Amen. And... Um, I will be naming some of the scripture references because they they are a lot. Um, so let's go ahead and pray. Let's get into the word. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you, Lord, for the day. Thank you, Lord, for uh, for all that you have done, Father. Lord, you're great, mighty, holy to be praised. We worship you. We praise you, Lord, for who you are. We thank you, Lord, for what you have done in our lives and um. We praise you. We glorify you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Alright. Pneumatology is a theological study of the Holy Spirit. And there are at least 30 uh, titles of the Holy Spirit. And we're going to take a uh, look at all of them. But I will, I will be for referencing some scriptures. Um, so that you can look it up on your own time. The first thing is the spirit of the the spirit of God. We see this uh, in Joel chapter two verse twenty eight. We see this in also in Genesis chapter forty one verse uh, thirty eight, which we will go to right now. Genesis chapter 28, 21, sorry, 41, verse 38. And it says, And Pharaoh says unto his servant, Can we find such a one as this, a man in whom the Spirit of God is? And Pharaoh says unto Joseph, For for as much as God has shown thee all, all this, there is none so discreet and wise as thou art. The Spirit of God was with Joseph when he was present in the Pharaoh's uh, throne. We see the Spirit of the Lord, Yahweh, in Isaiah chapter 40 verse 13. Number three, the Spirit of the Lord Jesus, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 3, and also in John chapter 8, verses, uh, verse 58, <clears throat> the Holy Spirit, Luke chapter 11, verse 13. Number five, the Holy Spirit of promise. And uh, this we're reading Galatians chapter 3, verse 14 says that the blessing of Abraham may come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we may receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Okay? And also you can see this in uh, Ephesians chapter 3, verse 6. The Holy Ghost, another version, the Spirit in Romans chapter 8, verse 16. The Spirit of Truth. Uh, let's take a look at John chapter 15. The Gospel of John chapter 15. Verse 26 says, But when the Comforter is come, whom I was sent unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceedeth from the Father, Shall shall uh, he shall testify of me? Okay, we see this again in John chapter sixteen, verse thirteen. Number nine, the spirit of our sorry the the spirit of holiness, uh, Romans chapter one, verse four. Number ten, the spirit of Christ. We see this in Romans chapter eight, verse uh, nine. Uh, Number 11, the Spirit of His Son, 
We see this in Galatians chapter 4, verse 6, and also in Romans chapter 5, verse 5. Let's take a look at it. And hope maketh not ashamed, because of the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. Number 12, the spirit of adoption. We see this in Romans chapter 8, verse 15. And let us go there now. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. Okay? Chuck, uh, number 13, the, the eternal spirit. We see this in Hebrews chapter 9. Verse 14. How much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offer himself without spot to God, purge your consciousness from the dead, so that from dead works to serve the living God? Okay? Number 14. The spirit of grace. Zechariah chapter 12, verse 10. Uh, 15, the spirit of life, Romans chapter 8, verse 2. Number 16, the spirit of, of glory, 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 14. Uh, chapter 17, uh, sorry, uh, number 17, free spirit, Psalm 51, verse 12. Uh, number 18, good spirit, uh, Nehemiah chapter 9, verse 20. 19. The Spirit of Wisdom. Romans chapter 8, verse 11. Spirit of Understanding. We see this in Proverbs chapter 4. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 11. Or, is it? Sorry, 7. Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom. And with all thy getting get understanding. Okay. Number 21, the spirit of counsel. Psalm 16, verse 7. I'm oh, sorry, Psalm 11, verse 7. Number 22, the spirit of might. Um, the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 26, verse uh, 53. Number uh, 23, the spirit of knowledge. Psalm, sorry, uh, Isaiah chapter 11, verse 2. Number uh, 24, the spirit of revelation. Uh, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 17. Number 25, the spirit of judgment. Uh, John chapter 16, verse 8. Number uh, 26, the spirit of burning. We see this in Isaiah chapter 4 verse 4 says when the Lord shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion it shall have purged the blood of Jerusalem from the midst thereof by the spirit of judgment and by the spirit of burning interesting Number 27, the spirit of prophecy. We see this in Revelation chapter 19, verse 10. Number 28, the comforter. We just read that, uh, John chapter 14, verse 16. Number 29, the helper. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16 says, Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. And lastly, uh, number 30, adversary, uh, sorry, uh, advocate. Uh, 1 John 2, verse 1. So all these are the titles of of the Holy Spirit and we see this throughout scripture um, it is very very crucial 
that we should be filled with the Holy Ghost on a daily basis. We should be acknowledging that there is the Spirit of the Lord when we come to our prayer closets. You know, we, we got to acknowledge that He is the only one that can set us free and the truth will set us free. And that's why it's so, so important as the body of Christ to reverence, you know, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. You know, it's, it's crucial. And, you know, uh, maybe at some, you know, maybe in the near future I may do another video on the titles of Jesus. Um, because there are a lot of titles, there's a lot of prophecies about Jesus, and that we live by, you know, we, we, we must abide in Christ and His Word in order for us to be able to uh, please the Lord and, and to not be filled with, with our flesh. But, but also we got to be filled with the Holy Ghost and, and, and do the things of the Spirit, you know. And uh, it's, it's very, very crucial to do that. <clears throat> for that for, for that being said, uh, next week we'll get into understanding zoology. Um, and I'll, if you don't know what, what it is, it's basically the city of animals. And so we're going to be doing something different next week. May do like a uh, PowerPoint presentation or something along the lines. I just need to do some research, uh, take some notes and all, and put pictures and stuff. So may God bless you. May God keep you. I'll see you guys again next time.